The following cross-sectional view of a typical multi-stage centrifugal compressor comprises of two journal bearings located at both ends of the shaft and one thrust bearing located at the shaft end on the non-driven side as depicted here. The configuration and number of bearings depend on the compressor design and process conditions, as we shall see further ahead. Bearings are used to support the compressor shaft with the minimum of friction. Bearings allow the shaft to rotate about its axis while restricting axial and radial motions of the shaft. An unsupported shaft can move in any of the three ways, as depicted here. Rotation about the axis. Movement along the axis also called axial motion and rotation off center also called radial motion in a centrifugal compressor or in any other type of rotating equipment the shaft must be free to rotate but should not move in any other way there are forces in the centrifugal compressor that tend to make axial and radial motions of the shaft these forces will be covered in a later section Thrust bearings are used to restrict the axial motion of the shaft while allowing it to rotate with minimum friction. Journal bearings are used to restrict the radial motion of the shaft while allowing it to rotate with minimum friction. In the next couple of videos, we will cover the type, the design, and the operating principles of journal and thrust bearings.